Hi, welcome to this video. Here is how I made these light switch covers. These sell very well, so I would highly recommend creating them, and they're of course very fun to make. So the first thing I do is pour my resin into the molds, of course, as always. And then I use my heat gun to pop the bubbles, and I also take one of these thin wooden sticks, and I kind of dig out the bubbles from any corners and stuff like that, just because it'll cure as little holes if I don't catch them. Now it's time to place our flowers in. I just place them facing down, that way the bottom of the mold becomes the front, of course, so it's nice and flat. And I kind of just think about how is this gonna look when I flip it around, just sort of play around with how I want it to look in the end. And as you can see, I'm spending time with each plant and flower to push it down, that way the resin coats over it entirely. I took these out of the mold very early, so don't judge how bendy they are. Art resin does take up to three days to cure, but I took this out probably 16 hours after I poured it instead of 24. And I did that because sometimes I want to use the mold again if I'm trying to make items in bulk. So it's okay, just make sure you keep it flat, that way it's not going to cure in a weird way. I use this brand of white chalk paint and I got started. This chalk paint has seen better days. I ended up buying a new one to finish this project because as you can see, it was pretty dried out and this paintbrush wasn't great either, but it's just the concept I want you to focus on here. Ignore that. Um, I basically just start doing layers of paint and this helps because if you were to have a clear light switch cover and you put it on, all you would see are the wires behind. So it has to have some sort of color and I don't do another pour of resin because the molds are really thin. It would be kind of hard to gauge two layers and I also do it this way because it's faster and I don't have to wait two days for it to cure. I can have it done in one day. This is after only one layer, you can see that it's a very solid color and the more layers you add, the more solid it's going to be. And I just wanted to add that this is a reason why handmade products are more expensive because you can see the amount of time and love that goes into each individual cover from the pour to painting it on and finishing it up and then packaging this eventually if it sells. So there is a lot of love that goes into handmade items, which is why they are priced higher and if anyone gives you a hard time just remember that every single thing you make is a piece of art not just a light switch cover here is the gloss varnish i use it will also be linked on my amazon store i was filming with one hand because i couldn't find my tripod piece so excuse the weird filming but i just wanted to show you the concept i just cover the back and varnish that way the paint stays on and doesn't scratch off or get on anyone's walls i also sand the back of the cover so not the edge with the resin but just kind of the back to make sure it's nice and smooth and then you can place your covers on just like any other covers those holes are for the screws that go into them and you don't have to buy anything extra or do anything Anything different the regular um, screws that go into covers can be used on these resin ones as well excuse the blue paint on this my room used to be blue and it just is on there still but yeah that is the cover here are the final products also if there's extra paint on the edges like there is on these I will just go in with nail polish remover and take that off it does take a while it's a little time consuming this project but overall it's so fun to make here are the final products if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!